Likukela says the widening gap between the rich and the poor has various dimensions, such as gender, where females are more disproportionately on the lower side, as well as the regional dimension, where inequality is quite rapid. Because without understanding these dimensions, we will be talking of inequality at a more generalized level like we would say, well, the gene coefficient is 59%, but who exactly is the mostly affected amongst those that are not equal? So for me, really, when I look at this a bit closer, I realize that the inequality level is actually worse than we think, because when we go deeper and understand the real setup of the real dimension of inequality, it's worse than what has been reported, because it's just been at the general level not knowing exactly who are the most affected parts within this whole equation. The government decision to lock down the country during COVID-19, he says, also deepened the gap of inequality. COVID is, has undoubtedly contributed a lot, but it also exacerbated the problem that we have. Moreover, COVID exposed the structural weaknesses of our economic system. It exposed the loopholes. It is now for us as policymakers to look beyond this and say, okay, now we know what we didn't know. What do we do next? And the answer is obvious. We must embark on inclusive policies. Otherwise, the gap between the richer and the poor will remain the same. The government has placed poverty and inequality at the forefront of development agenda. Vision 2030 and vehicles such as the National Development Plan aimed at alleviating poverty and inequality. However, Likukela says, despite these efforts, Namibia is still experiencing high inequality. The issue is we haven't yet gotten to the root of poverty and inequality. We know that what we are trying to deal with is a symptom of a much rooted problem. And until we resolve that, until we understand the root cause of poverty and inequality, we are not going to really do much, despite all these policy documents and interventions of government. We still have private schools, private uh, hospitals. All of this is to say the richer must go this side, the poor must go. All of these things can be traced back to the colonial past, the policies of segregation and selective uh, uh, development. The UNRISD report suggested on working towards the creation of a new ecosocial contract and policy approach based on alternative economies, among others. These suggestions from the United Nations are actually within reach of Namibia, and if they are fully implemented, I personally believe that it will make a dent on alleviating poverty and bridging the gap between the haves and the have not and eradicate or reduce the inequality. So I definitely believe that with full commitment, and as government have demonstrated time and again, I think this is within our reach. We can do it. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.